Hey guys, I'm DNH Bear, and today I drew the 2010 um, SS Camaro, and like the yellow one, the Bumblebee one, and I thought it was a really cool car. It was like it's kind of like my dream car, except for the ZL one. But yeah, um, yeah, like, like, um, subscribe and stuff, and enjoy the video. I basically explain every like step of the car. If you want to learn how to draw cars, um, you you'll need a lot of utensils and stuff. But yeah, so, yeah. This is my 2010 Camaro SS. This step of the stage of drawing it, I started sketching it and just started it like with the rough proportions and yeah let's move on to the next step and y'all yeah, go okay this part the front wheel is a little bit too big so and the front wheel well was a little bit too high so i fixed oh well this part i didn't realize that but the next one i fix it and yeah and the lines are still kind of bad in this one so yeah don't judge me um this part i finally started to fix the issues with it and like started to fix the lines and make it look like an actual car um, instead of just a bunch of lines on the paper if you know what I mean so yeah the uh, front wheels a little bit bigger still but that's going to be fixed this part I finally started to darken the lines here's a little tip if you're trying to draw a car don't darken the lines until you're sure you have the dimensions right um, because you're gonna end up with a lot of erasing as you can see here um, this part I added in the interior of the wheel and I got in the brakes. The brakes were a little bit too big and you, you can see they're way too close to the wheel. Um, that is way too big brakes for a Camaro even if it does handle well. So yeah. Um, this part I outlined the body with some black pen and I finally got it to like like stick out. If you know what I mean? Get the lines sharper. Um, and yeah, next one. Bibidoo. This one, I... What did I do in this one? It looks pretty... Oh, it was exhaust. I blacked out the exhaust, or the inside of the exhaust. And, yeah, I did the outlines of the wheels. Or the tires, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah. Uh, what did I do here? I did the inside of the wheels, like the spokes and the, the brakes. And, yeah, and I made the back right wheel black because it's behind the car. So yeah, not behind it, but you know what I mean. Um, here, I did the black part around the brakes, so you could, and I made the back brakes a little, the disc a little bit smaller, so look more realistic because the front ones are bigger than the back ones. So yeah, that makes sense because there's more weight in the front. And then this part, I finally started to put in some color, some bumble, bumblebee yellow, as everybody loves. Um, yeah, uh, it was one of the lightest colors I had, and and it had a lot of colors that blended well with it so that's why I used that color and yeah not just because it's bumblebee um what did I do here it's, it kind of looks the same yeah more bumblebee color and reflection and such uh here I added in the black around the bumper um the the windows and the spoiler and made the yellow a little bit darker and such yeah next one uh, here the, I did the tires as you can see at the bottom of the tires there's it's a little bit lighter that's for reflection um, I looked at it, multiple pictures when I was doing this I don't want to totally copy the picture so I just kind of make my own perspective of it um, this the next picture is a little bit dark um, but I did add in the red um, calipers and I did the lights added some dimension to them put a little bit of bling on the spoiler even if it's off um yeah put a little bling on the exhaust tips and this one is way better I started to add shadow underneath it um what else I added a little bit more color some darkening in the yellow give it a little bit more of, of a diverse type of yellow and then I added some like kind of wear marks where because it was doing burnouts as you can see like down at the bottom there and you can see like um rubber splatters because it just did a burnout and then there's like a burnout line behind it i thought that it made give it like a really real factor and for the next one it's finally started to look real um i what did i do here just made the shadow darker made it look more realistic like asphalt 
and made the license plate look kind of cool. What did I do here? I think I just added, wait, no. Did I? I don't know if this is a picture or not. I think I just added some darkening, some tone to the yellow. That's all I did. <laughs> uh, here I added some darkening. I added the interior, as you can see, like, down, like the window. You can see the mirror. You can see the back of the right window, right rear window. You can see, like, the reflections stuff. It looks really nice. Uh, next one. This I started to make the wheels look more realistic. Added some gray into them. This picture isn't the greatest, but it's kind of blurred. So yeah, I, basically what I did is I took a picture every like so often. It's easier than a time lapse. So yeah, yeah. Um, this this picture is pretty good. Started to add my um my signature in uh, the wheels, and then. I added some like reflection on the lights and some yeah this one I added some white outline with a pen with a white pen and it turned out really nice so, yeah I have one more picture after this and it's coming and as you can see like on the bottom of the tire like in the interior and yeah that's a really good picture right there so yeah if you guys liked it please feel to feel feel good to subscribe it makes total sense and be hilarious and enjoy so bye and learn how to draw a car that's what i suggest because it's really fun just follow these steps go through every single step like i show here um usually what you need i use just pencil for the first steps then i start to go into black pen you don't really need professional like point size pens what I like what I have you just need some I'll, I'll flash a picture of like the utensils that you use on the screen utensils is that what they're called I think I think that's for eating I think I'm pretty sure I don't eat with markers thank you very much thanks me and then you just start outlining it with black marker then you go into the coloring stages I use al <laughs> alcohol based markers and yeah um, they're really good for putting in color and using like making it shiny and like transparent so like if you use too dark of a color it's gonna wash it out and make it look too dark and yeah that's why I like these because they're like they aren't very like they're kind of transparent that's pretty much it and I use some colored pencils also to put in some of the shadows and the, the windows and the stuff and yeah blah 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 and see there. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.